says right. Let us bless the Lord every day and night. Never ending praise. May your incense rise. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, every day and night. Never ending praise. Bless the Lord. Every day and night, never ending praise. Magnify the Lord. We magnify you tonight, Jesus. Come and exalt his name. Glorify the Lord. Hallelujah. Magnify the Lord. Magnify the Lord. Come exalt his name. Oh God, we worship you. Hallelujah. Magnify. Come exalt his name. That the Lord is good. He'll give you everything. He'll give you everything. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. The Lord will give you everything. Amen. And that is very evident. Amen. Glory be to God. And tonight, I want to remind you that you got power. Amen. You have been given power. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. That's the word of God. Amen. It has been given to us. Amen. Mighty God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your love. We thank you for your grace and your mercies that has kept us. Right now, God Almighty, we thank you, Lord Jesus, that we can be able to gather in this fashion. Right now, God, I release the blood in the atmosphere. I push back at the gates of hell. I decree and declare that the gates of hell shall not, cannot prevail against the work of God and against the people of God. Right now, God Almighty, I declare and I command that you release battalions of angels, God, to cover us now, to sit in our presence, to sit in our dwelling. God Almighty, we put the blood upon our walls. We put the blood upon our doors. We put the blood upon our windows, God, wherever we are. We cover everything that is attached to us. God Almighty, we release the blood in the atmosphere and we come against every thought and every plan of hell. Satan, the red up blood of Jesus is against you. We declare right now that we are victorious. We have the power, God Almighty. In the name of Jesus, cover us tonight, God. Oh, Jesus, we thank you for revelation. We thank you for manifestation. And we declare tonight, God, that we shall receive miracles, signs, wonders, healing, deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your perfect Perfect will be done in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. You got power. Amen. Mighty God. God is good and he is worthy to be praised. Amen. I want to draw your attention to two scriptures tonight. Amen. Glory be to God. And as I said to you earlier, that God has given me a, a very um, a revelation. Amen. So I'm going to do a little teaching tonight. 
Amen. Glory be to God before we get into praying because knowledge is power because the word of God says because of the lack of knowledge, the people perish. Amen. So we want to get knowledge so we able we, are, we will be able to, to do and to know, amen, what to do and what is required of us. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. It says faith come by hearing and hearing of the word of God. Amen. So we are looking at Luke chapter 9. Luke chapter 9, Luke chapter 10, sorry, Luke chapter 10, we're looking at Luke chapter 10 and verse 19, and it says, behold, I give unto you power to tread upon serpent and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. That's the word of God. Almighty God. And First Peter 5 and verse 8, it says, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So we have been given the power. Amen. Mighty God, we have been given the power. Amen. So we understand that the devil is like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. And a lot of times I, 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 I interact with people and uh, I, I, I see them worrying and crying and being depressed about um, what the, the, the enemy does and all of that. But I want you to understand and to be reminded that the devil has been given an assignment and he is like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. The word of God says, shun the devil, run the devil, and he will flee from you. But he has been given an assignment to kill, to steal, and to destroy. And he goes about like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. So he, because he has an assignment, he's going to fulfill that assignment. So as a, as a children of God, don't be worried about the devil's assignment and worrying that the devil is attacking you and the devil is going to do this. and that Because the devil has been given ass an assignment. But you have got power. You got power. You have been given power. Amen. To tread upon serpent and scorpion. Glory be to God. So it doesn't matter what the enemy comes with. It doesn't matter what the enemy um, will do or can do. He is already defeated because you have already been equipped by God. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And that's what I love about our daddy Jesus. He cares for us so much. That even though the enemy has been given an assignment, he loves us so much that he gives us the weapon and the antidote for the enemy. Glory be to God. So, our enemy, the devil, desire to devour us, to cause real and lasting harm. And that is established. We know that. Amen. He literally... He wants to swallow or to drown. That is what he wants to do. Amen. And that is his assignment. It says that Peter has made it clear, clear that our place in eternity, that he has, um, that he wants to, that he, he wants to drown us. Amen. But the devil cannot take us from God. He cannot, he cannot change that. Amen. He can only seek to damage our faith. He wants fear to shake. Um, us, amen, and so that we believe the lies of him, amen, and, and, and forget about God's goodness, amen. Since he cannot touch the believer's soul, Satan seeks to leave us weak and effective as servant of Jesus, amen. He knows, amen, that we have been given power. He knows, amen, that when we decide that we are going to serve God, we are securing him. So because he cannot touch our, our, our soul, he cannot, he, cannot, he cannot devour us. 
amen, he, he, he seeks to leave us feeling weak. And I say to persons a lot of times that the enemy, that's what the enemy does. And if you focus your energy and your attention on, 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 on the physical aspect of life rather than the spiritual aspect of life, what will happen is that you're going to become drained, you're going to become weak physically, and when that happens, you won't be able to war spiritually. So that's the assignment of the devil. That is what he does. That is what he, he comes with. Glory be to God. But I, I want to re constantly remind you that God has given you the power. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. Oh, God Almighty. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So we know that the devil has been called our adversary. Amen. And we first see that appear in the book of Job. The adversary, literally Satan in Hebrew, came to God accusing Job of only being faithful because he was blessed. Amen. Glory be to God. Satan operates in an adversarial role against God's people. Glory be to God. And in, in, in the case of Job, it almost seemed to be an official role, like a prosecuting art uh, 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 attorney. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So that is the assignment of the enemy. So when the enemy comes and, and behave and you see manifesting, glory be to God, don't worry about that because you have got the power. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. So while that is a title and not a name, amen, by the time Jesus began preaching in Israel, Satan has become a commonly used name. Glory be to God. And we see it in all those scriptures. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, what a God we serve. Amen. Glory be to God. So we, 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 we see all of those things. Amen. Glory be to God. The meaning of the term is very similar to that of Satan, an adversary against God's people who wrongfully accuses them. Glory be to God. So, amen. Whatever you, whatever, um, he is our enemy. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And you're going to find out some very interesting things tonight. You're going to be empowered. Glory be to God to, to understand that you have gotten the power Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So we, we know that, that Lucifer was in heaven. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So Lucifer became so impressed with his own beauty, intelligence, power, and position that he, became to he began to desire for himself the honor and the glory that belonged to God. Amen. Glory be to God. So he was there. He knows what heaven is like. Glory be to God. But he became so impressed with his own beauty. And, and, and the Bible described Lucifer as the most beautiful person, the most beautiful angel. Glory be to God. So a lot of times you hear uh, people um, describing satan and 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 all these things but that, that that's not correct biblically the word of god describe him as the most beautiful thing it is said that if you see uh satan you will you you will even think that he is christ as to how he he looks and this is why he he is able to manipulate able to manipulate and to get things done because he has a charm to his personality. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So that is, that is what he wanted. He wanted to get the, the pride represent um, the actual beginning of sin in the universe. And you see how from the beginning, how the devil um, got Adam and Eve to, 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 to do, to, to forget all about what God has told him, amen, and to be lured away and to be carried away into what he wanted him to do. And that is still how the enemy works until this day. Glory be to God. He is very manipulative and he will get persons to do, amen, what his plan are. Glory be to God. 
Oh, Jesus. So our text tells us that the king was created, being and left and the creative hand of God in a perfect state. Ezekiel 28 and verse 12. And he remained perfect in his ways until iniquity was found in him. That's talking about Satan again. So we, we understand that. That pride was that, what, what got into him. But here is the interesting part. I want you to understand that the Bible described Lucifer as the most beautiful angel. But I want the revelation that I want to reveal to you tonight is that Lucifer, the devil, is not a warrior angel. Glory be to God. He is not a warrior angel. Glory be to God. So what he uses is charm and his, 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 his ability to charm and to, to, to impersonate and to, 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 what's the word that I always use? Amen. To, to deceive and all of those things. But listen to this. Michael, the archangel Michael is the only, is one of the three angels that was named in the Bible. The other being Gabriel and Lucifer, the original name of Satan, the devil. We are told that he is one of the chief princes, the great prince, a mighty warrior. So Michael is the warrior angel, glory be to God, and the leader of the other angel. He is God enforcer of law and judgment and is the only angel specifically called an archangel in the Bible. So look at the power that God has given us. He says that he gives this angel charge over thee. Glory be to God. So you have got power. You got vocative. Glory be to God because God's chief law enforcer, Michael, the warrior angel, and a summon the warrior angel, Michael, with flaming sword. God Almighty, tonight to fight on our behalf. Every prayer that has been held back, every plan and every purpose, God Almighty, that has been held back. Glory be to God. God, oh mighty God, we call forth Michael, the warrior angels, God, chief enforcer of law and judgment. Oh God Almighty, to fight on our behalf tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. So I want to let you know that Satan is not a warrior. He's a manipulator. He's a deceiver and he's good with, with getting things done. Glory be to God. Look at this now. Oh, mighty God. The name Michael means who is like God. Notice the question. Oh, God Almighty, Michael appears to have a specific role in guarding the nation of Israel and the Jewish people. Oh, mighty God. In Jewish tradition, Michael is the author of Psalms 85, which is a sad poem about suffering of the nation of Israel. He has also been associated with the man who spoke to Joshua at the battle of Jericho. Oh, God Almighty. Oh, Jesus. And his role, as I said to you, is chief warrior angel. Oh, mighty God. It could be well somebody speculating that he might be the warrior since he's a chief to announce the return of Jesus. We don't know. Glory be to God. It is. Oh, God Almighty thought that it was Michael who fought with the devil and threw him out of heaven. Glory be to God. So Michael, the warrior angel, the chief enforcing law officer, threw Satan out of heaven. Almighty God. Oh, Jesus. So we have got power tonight. You have power to tread upon serpent and scorpion and by nothing, oh God Almighty, by no means shall harm you. The warrior angel, the only warrior angel, God Almighty, is on your side. Oh God Almighty, and your daddy Jesus is on your side. Oh God Almighty, oh Jesus, it is said that it, um, the warrior angel is often depicting, depicted wearing, uh, oh God Almighty, an 
arm is always ready for war. He's always ready for battle. Good God Almighty. War and more behalf tonight. Michael, we summon you. Oh, Jesus. Hey! Yes, God Almighty, we have the chief angel on our side. God Almighty, so don't let the enemy let you feel weaky, weaky, and feel as though he's not a warrior angel. Oh, God Almighty. Oh, Jesus, we thank you tonight. We thank you tonight. We thank you tonight. Oh, Jesus. So see, oh, you got power. Power to tread upon serpent. Power to tread upon demons and devils. Power to lay your hands on the sick and they shall recover. Good God Almighty. The word of God says, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Good God Almighty. That's the authority and the power that you have been given tonight. Oh, Jesus. He said that you have received power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you and you shall be witness all over the world. Oh God Almighty. Oh Jesus. So call out your power tonight. I summon somebody's power to come alive in the name of Jesus. If you have been feeling weak and sick, oh Jesus, I come to tell you tonight that you have got power. Oh Jesus. Because greater is he oh that is in he that he that is in the world oh god almighty power lies within you in the mighty name of jesus oh god almighty mm. We thank you tonight, Jesus. We thank you tonight, Jesus. We thank you tonight, God. We thank you tonight, God. We thank you tonight, Jesus. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. We thank you. Oh, you are more than enough for us. Oh, you are more than enough for us, Jesus. Oh, God Almighty. So it is said that spiritual warfare is a phase, is a phrase that you might hear some Christian use. But the truth is, many people do not fully understand or know what it is, or know what to do about it. And I realize that it's a plan of the enemy. Glory be to God. When, when Even when we are to come together like this, there are some persons who are afraid of the warfare prayer and the strong sound and all of that. Oh, God Almighty, but the word of God tells us, for we know that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, against rulers of darkness and wickedness of this world. And, and you know, it was this week I was thinking and I was saying to myself, if you look at it, look in our society, you can realize that some a force is really behind person's negative behavior. A person who is in his, is our own, her own right mind. We'll look at an individual, somebody that you eat with, you talk with, and you are going to hurt that person or you are going to kill that person. When you look at it, it must be a force that is behind is is working against somebody that you that person would want to to hurt or to take an individual's life when you look i was looking at there's a popular person that has been in the media and i think it was a very old interview some of you might have seen it a very old interview and the person was saying how how bad they were um a bad man or whatever and when you look, I was sitting there and I said, look at that, that person was at a very young age and at the, that individual is now behind bars at maybe 20 years. I think the video is about 20 year old. 20 years after that person is still on that path of being a bad man, being a gunman, being a menace in society. And I sat down and I look at it and I said, it, there must be a force. There are some persons who think when you quote the scripture of we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but I know everything that we encounter is spiritual. There is no gray area is either it is of the kingdom of darkness or the kingdom of light. There's no middle 
where you have a little bit of this and a little bit of that. So if the individual is not manifesting what God, what the kingdom of God says, then it is of evil. If somebody is going to be, become envious and become malicious and become big, have strife, that is of the devil. The word of God tells you, tells us the, the work of the flesh. So there must be a driving force behind that, that somebody would want to sit down and tarnish somebody's character. Somebody would want to carry a news to somebody that they know is going to affect the individual. God Almighty, oh Jesus, that cannot be the work of God. There must be a driving force behind it. So this is what we are talking about when we say we wrestle not against flesh and blood. When we look in some families, glory be to God, generational curse is evident. It's very evident, glory be to God. You look at the pattern of the bloodline. Some persons, it seems as though they cannot become successful. There are some persons who every time they are, they are to go to our experience, a breakthrough of success, whether financially, emotionally, they're just going around in a roller coaster. Today they are sad. Tomorrow they are, they are defeated again. There are some per that is not of God. The Lord wants us to live. He says that he wants us to prosper as our soul prosper. Glory be to God. And if it is that we are not thriving and we are not surviving and we are not overcoming, then we need to get radical. We need to come against all that is happening in our space that we don't want to see. Glory be to God. Why? Because God has given us that power. Almighty oh, God, hallelujah. We thank you tonight, Jesus, because you have given us power. Oh, Jesus. So one way to explain spiritual warfare is by comparing it to physical war. He said that historical battles were often about controlling territories for political or economic power. Spiritual warfare is a battle for control over people's soul. So because we have the devil who is the enemy of our soul, we are constantly in warfare. We are constantly in battle. Why? We are not wrestling against. It's not a physical war. We are going to use our fist to fight. But we have been given the power to, to bind and to lose. Oh, God Almighty. In 2 Corinthians 4 and verse 4, it says, the God of this age has binded the minds of unbelievers so that they cannot see the light of the gospel that display the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. So that is a warfare in itself. We have persons who are in our families who have backslidden. We have persons in our family who are not saved. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Some of them that who have backslidden, you think they don't want to come to God if you talk to them and say, yeah, man, I'm coming back. I soon come. But it's, there's a force, there's a driving force that is holding them back. I, think, I don't know if you have scripture, it says, such were some of us, God Almighty, if it had not been for the grace of God. There are so many persons, you think they don't want to be saved. They want to be saved. But there's a wrestle, there's an enemy. The enemy is fighting to control their soul, God Almighty. So it is a tug of war. Oh, Jesus, we break some curses in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So it's, it's not that they don't want to. There are some persons who are already accepted Christ, God Almighty, but we need spiritual eyes to see so that they can be delivered. Glory be to God. There are some persons who have been walking, but they are struggling. Why? They are generational curse. Locked up in their lineage, locked up in their genes. Some of them has been have been 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 in so many things before they got saved, and they are not yet. They have not yet been delivered. Glory be to God. So we under when we see them, they manifest all kind of different things. Glory be to God. But we have to get radical because we have been given the power. Oh Jesus, to bind and to loose. Oh God, we thank you tonight. God, we thank you tonight. God. Oh, Jesus. So, amen. Glory be to God. Oh, he created. He says that whether you believe in and follow him or not, 
God created you for a reason. Amen. Glory be to God. And even if there's anybody there watching, amen, even on Facebook, God Almighty, that you have been passing this page and you might think that, God, you don't know your reason why you're here. I want to remind you and to let you know that he has created you for a reason. He created you to know him and to experience his love. God Almighty, because he loved you with an everlasting love. He created you to love others as yourself and to use your skills and talents for God, uh, for good for the world. Amen. To point people to, to Christ. Oh, God Almighty. But however, the God, the God as an enemy who is known as Satan or the devil, because he is an enemy to God uh, and God people, he is sometimes referred to as simply our enemy. We know he's an enemy. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So Satan is committed to prevent, in preventing people from knowing God and trusting him with their lives. The enemy's tactics may differ depending on whether some, someone is already a Christian or not. Amen. And we know that. Glory be to God. But his ultimate purpose is always to keep people from experiencing the love of God. The devil is a liar right now. God Almighty, I plead the blood. I release the blood in the atmosphere. Oh, God Almighty, we thank you for your power. We thank you for your grace, God. Oh, Jesus, release your people in this season. Oh, God Almighty, some backsliders that have been tied up. Oh, God Almighty, some persons that need deliverance, God. God, I send forth the word of deliverance, God, to locate them tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Loose them from the chain and the shackles of God Almighty of sin in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, God Almighty. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Oh, Jesus, we plead the blood. We plead the blood. We plead the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, God Almighty. Oh, Jesus, we stand up in our authority. We stand up in our power tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The prayer is, di is displayed on your screen. Amen. Glory be to God. We are going to pray it together tonight. You're going to open your mouth. I hope that where you are, you will be able to, to open your mouth and to pray because I want to remind you that praying in your mind will not defeat the enemy. The enemy can put things in your mind, but he cannot read your mind. He does not have that power. He cannot read your mind. He can only put things in your mind. So if you pray in your mind, you are not affecting him. You are not damaging him. You got to give him the word. What did Jesus use when he came to Jesus with his, his and, and I, I use this too to let people understand. If the devil was brave enough to go in Jesus' face, Jesus was already God, spotless, pure, and he went on 40 days of fasting. So you could just imagine how much more power he, 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 he was walking in. And the devil at that time, after 40 days of fasting, was brave enough to go up in the King of Kings and the Lord of Lord's face to say, if you are God, turn this stone into bread. If you bow down and worship me, I will give you all of this. And he doesn't own a key. He doesn't own anything. Glory be to God. So the enemy is not afraid. And he will, he, if he goes up in God's face, what else will he not do? So do not think that the enemy is, will not do and whatever, what, all of that. But know that God has given you the power. And what did God use to conquer him? The word. He said, get behind me, Satan. It is written, man shall not live by bread alone. And he came again. That to show you that he's determined. How many times did he, did he go to Jesus? Three times. And God had to use the word at him. So whenever he comes, every time he comes, use the word at him. Use the word at him. Use the word at him. The word of God says the devil tremble when the weakest of saints get on their knees. 
oh God Almighty, so it doesn't matter how weak you feel. It doesn't matter how far you have drifted and how long it may have been. Oh God Almighty, once you open that mouth of yours. So we're going to open our mouth tonight. And we are going to pray this prayer together in the name of Jesus. Are we ready? One, two, three. Father God, I ask you to help me put on the spiritual armor that will protect me from harm and help me stand before the enemy. Before the enemy. Help me to tie the belt of truth around my ways, God Almighty, and protect my heart with the breastplate of righteousness, God Almighty. Oh, Jesus, we thank you tonight. Oh, God Almighty, Ephesians 6 and verse 11, 11 tells me to put on the full armor of God so that you will be able to stand against the scheme of the devil. Oh, God Almighty, let me place upon, upon my feet, feet the preparation of the gospel of peace so that I can share the good news with others and help me hold in my hand the shield of faith that I that can put out the flaming darts of the wicked one. Almighty God. Oh Jesus. Protect my mind from ungodly thoughts with the helmet of salvation. Arm me with the sword of the spirit, which is the living word of God. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Oh, God Almighty. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God Almighty. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. We worship you tonight. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. Come on, somebody. Oh, God Almighty, worship God. You can unmute your mic and worship God. Come on. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Oh, yes, God. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. Oh, God Almighty, come on, somebody. Push yourself to another level. You have gotten, you have got power. Power lies in you. You are victorious. You are anointed. You are called for this. Oh, Jesus. No weapon. We come against every weapon of the enemy. We curse them tonight. Satan, the red of blood of Jesus is against you. Oh, God Almighty. Oh, Jesus. God Almighty, the blood. The blood of Jesus. We thank you, God. Yes, Jesus. We cover everything that's attached to us. Oh, God Almighty. Oh, we come against the spirit of fear. Oh, we are not fearful, God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God Almighty. We stand up in your word. We stand up on your word, God. Hearts are filled with gratitude because of who you are. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord. Hallelujah. Majesty, Lord. Holy Ghost and fire. Oh, God Almighty. Hallelujah. You are worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We plead the blood tonight, God. We plead the blood, Jesus. We plead the blood, Jesus. Blood, blood, Jesus. blood coverage. Oh, God Almighty, back us up tonight, God. Send heaven to back us up, God. Oh, release upon our lives. Breakthrough upon our lives. Miracles upon our lives. Healing upon our lives. Deliverance upon Upon our lives in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. We worship you, God. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. Hey! We worship you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We worship you, God. Hey! 
Yes, God. We worship you, Jesus. Huh? Yes, God, we worship you. Huh? We worship you, huh? oh God Almighty. Huh? Everything has to us win. Come on, I shall win. Open your mouth and declare it. I shall win. I am a winner. Oh God Almighty. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. Thank you, God. Oh, in your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes, God. Jesus. We plead the blood. Hallelujah. We plead the blood. Hallelujah. We plead the blood. We plead the blood. We plead the blood. We come against the spirit of backwardness. We declare God in the name that we will not become what our gene says. We will not become what society says. We will not become what our community no, says. Right. But we will become a, because we are yes, a royal Lord. priesthood, a holy nation, yes. a peculiar people. Yes. We have been called forth out yes. of darkness. Out of darkness into this marvelous light. Oh, a city on a hill that cannot be hid. Oh, we are more than conquerors. Hey, we pray for healing upon our land tonight, God. Heal our land, we come against a demon of murder. Oh, God, we pray for healing upon our land tonight, we come against a demon of murder. Oh, God Almighty, we cannot hold the blood in Jamaica right now. Oh, upon the 14th parishes, we come against a demon of crime and violence. We bind it tonight, devil. Lucifer, we bind you. We chase your ugly hurt. We summon Gabriel to release our message to us tonight. Bring back our answers to us, God. Every prayer that has been held up, every prayer that has been locked up, every blessing that has been locked up, we declare release upon our lives tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh God Almighty, we scatter the blood all over the world tonight. The demon of coronavirus, we bind you tonight. We put the blood upon you tonight. We put the blood upon you tonight, coronavirus. COVID-19 and every spirit from hell that has been attached to COVID-19. We catapult. We shoot you back into hell. We put the red of blood of Jesus upon you. Hey! We play, we clear healing upon our land tonight. Heal our land, God. You say, it's my people who are called by your name. Oh, Jesus. We stand as a remnant tonight before you, God. Oh, Jesus. God Almighty as a remnant. God Almighty. Oh, yes, God. We ask for healing upon our land, God. In the name of Jesus. Of our children tonight, God. Every single one of them. We come against a demon and the spirit of pedophile. Ah, oh, you pedophile spirit, we curse you. Ah, oh, we plead the blood upon you. you. Oh, you the demon of abuse and rape and molestation and incest, we bind you. We cover our little girls, we cover our boys. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God Almighty, protect them, God. Oh, Jesus, lift up a standard, God Almighty, in our children. Oh, God Almighty, a oh, warrior anointed God to chase away every pedophile spirit. Oh, God Almighty. In the name of Jesus. In the name of oh, Holy Spirit. Cover your people tonight. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We thank you for victory. We thank you for victory. We thank you for victory. Right now, God. Jesus. Call for the whole, whole house of heaven to back us up tonight. In the name of the name Jesus. Lord. We speak peace over our lives, over our minds, and we come against every backlash in the spirit. No devil can touch us. We put the blood even onto the very floor and the very foundation of our house. Oh, God Almighty, yes, Lord. Angels stand guard around our property. Oh, we come against every backlash in the spirit. We declare that we are victorious yes, and we are more than conquerors through Christ. Yes, Jesus. Jesus. Oh, because thank we walk not after the flesh. We walk in the spirit. Oh, thank you tonight, thank God. You. In 
Jesus' name. Heaven bless you all. Amen. Thanks for joining in with me tonight as we storm the gates of hell. Amen. Because the gates of hell cannot, will not prevail. Oh, God Almighty. In the name of Jesus, heaven bless you. Amen. Go in peace and know that you got power. Amen. And Jesus love you with an everlasting love. Take care. Have a wonderful night in Jesus' name. Oh, God Almighty. <laughs>